beautiful peeps I've been rambling with the missus and now I've got the rods out I'm here in a weird weird area no one's gonna find it no one's gonna follow me around <laughs> I'll flip you around and this is what you do if you want to find new spots when I used to go recce in with my dad rabbit in we used to go to little places I think you know check them out before you go there so look there it is get over the ice it's a big puddle of ice Look, little, little river. It's only small, it's really shallow. I'm not expecting miracles. I've got my float rod with me. I've got a small lure, so I'll do a bit of lure fishing and then I'm gonna do uh, a bit of float fishing. But I don't know what it's gonna be like. It's ditch fishing, you know. It's actually proper Reen. Check it out. Reen, W-Y-N-E, I think it's spelled. Reen. It's an old English word for like a little river ditch. Right. All right, guys, I've gone on a completely different setup now. That was hard. I mean, that was a good 40 minutes of tracking, nothing. Um, and I've seen a few spots that I just wanted to float fish. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna have to, well, I need to catch a bit of goddamn fish, man. And uh, this is a great thing. If you do come with different types of gear, you can swap and change, you know? So yeah, it's took me like, you know, a good five, 10 minutes to change over, but very small stick float and the float and the line is like 30 centimeters deep this is like that's probably going to catch the bottom anyway but we'll have to see how we get on in it so bing bang abortions see how we get on all right here we go then guys i have walked miles honestly i've been walking for about 40 minutes to even find a decent spot even when I can get the float going through, just to fish some to fish. I'm in a small roach. This is like actually flowing, not like the ditches I fish. But still a moaning, let's get fishing. Yes. I mean guys, you know how exciting this is. I've been waiting this for ages, man. It's like a big rod. Yes! Yeah! Mount fish! Mount fish! Yeah! Oh my god, I thought it was snagged on the bottom. Yes! Success! Oh my god, guys, out of a little river. Boom, he's definitely been bitten by a pike. 
that was some hard fishing guys i know it's windy i'm sorry uh but that was some real hard fishing i mean i've been walking for maybe two hours morning guys finally in some fish after two hours that is insane the shows never go up you never know where they are and some of the most likely spots have not produced any fish i'm on the side of a road and i literally just was whacked to ring my missus to come pick me up i thought no have a little go because you just don't know Definitely as good as the one I just lost. There you go, guys. That's a better fish. Much better fish, guys. Oh, he's holding on. That's a big rod, guys. Big rod. I knew there was a big fish a minute ago. Feel it, man. Feel it. That guys, massive rod, massive. <laughs> Look at that! Now that's a rod. Oh, he's done it again, hasn't he? Now that is a rod. Look at that. That's a specimen. I knew I could feel it's gonna rain, but I knew I could there was a bigger fish down there. Rod in here. Oh no, it's not. It's a huge roach. Oh. Somerset. Somerset does it again. Oh, he's got a massive leech on him. I'll show you that. Oi. And look at that. Look at that for a leech on him. Get him off. Look. So he's been sat on the bottom. Ugh, doing that on me. So there we go. Look at that, guys. Alright, that's a roach, isn't it, guys? Look at that. So I just put it to the equivalent of, of me. <laughs> I got him. So there we go. Look at that. Bing, bang, bosh. Long trotted. Skilled his own, man. Cool. Right, guys, it's like I was explaining to a little kid the other day. This is a skill on its own. Long trotting. You basically trot the, fl the float through and it goes miles down. When it's really shallow, it's quite hard to catch them really close. So, they, like, unless you catch more fish, 
they will move. <laughs> so you want to be moving with the fish. So if you can get the float to track all the way down, then you've got a much better chance of catching more fish. Not saying you won't catch, just more fish. It's a skin in its own. I deserve that. Oh, he's been bitten as well. Whoa, that was epic, man. Long trotted roach. Look at that, full of leeches. <laughs> Bingy, a bangy, a boshy. What's happened? <laughs> right, I'm back. Basically, I'm home. It was, uh, it got really cold, got dark really quickly, and I was getting picked up. So I had to reel them. Um, but it was definitely catch more fish. And um, so, yeah, Google Maps, eh? Google Maps. So I caught some quality roads, some nice. Um, big rod, what I was really impressed by. I've um, considered I've never fished it before. I've no idea, honestly, I've never fished it and anybody had fished it before. Obviously, people had. Um, well, I say obviously, but I, you know, it's one of them. It wasn't like a, um, a completely disappeared ditch in the uh, Scrappy barking. Right, and the one thing, the reason why I want to talk here is one is obviously it's dark outside now, and two is that um, I was chatting to a kid about float fishing and why I catch so many big roach and blah, 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 right? And today really did make a big difference with the long trying. Um, if you're using a waggler, the problem with a waggler, it's not going to fish properly in a, in a river, okay? When you've got a stick float and you're put, hold, keeping the line you know, semi-tight, pulling it back, you see, it kicks up the bait. And you can see how shallow this is. It's how shallow I had it. So when it was going through the water, I actually had it. It would probably be going through like that. You see what I mean? Not like that. You see what I mean? So when the flow's coming like this and you're holding it back with a bit of line, you see? And that's why I was saying on the video, it actually is a real skill trying to control the flow with a small flow rod with loads of wind. Um, I should have bought my 14 foot float rod, but because you've seen it at the beginning of that video, there's a lot of overhanging trees and God knows what else. I thought the little float rod, and it did me well, I caught enough fish, but I'm not gonna lie, there were certain places I thought I could have caught more fish 
if the presentation was right. Because I'm there, I keep pulling the float and it's doing this, and the bait's flipping around everywhere. If you could see underneath how much it bounces around when you're playing with it, so that's why you've got to make sure you've got all you know, the line pipe behind the float. You've got to keep mending it. If you don't, it's just going to swirl around. Then you get a toe and it pulls it out and blah, blah, blah. It just ruins the presentation. So yeah, if you want to catch roach, use a stick float and a float um, float rod. And uh, trust me, you will definitely pick up more fish. And long trotting can really help in shallow water. I do it a lot. So basically what happens is you trap, you let the float travel way past where you're fishing and just keep trotting it so you can barely see it. And then sometimes you get a really good fish. And I had a couple of good fish doing that today. So I don't know if you're going to see all the fish. But um, yeah, I blanked for an hour and a half before I got anything. Um, and I was proper trucking. Google Maps for you. So yeah, I proper trucked around. But I succeeded. Yes. Right. So like and subscribe to my channel. Bing.